we just wanted to say a few words just um, in particular just to thank all the participants and the artists for creating this lovely exhibition. Um, I'm Lauren, one of the directors of Signal Film and Media, and this is Liz, who's the programme manager at Signal Film and Media. And so basically what's here is the culmination of a project that was led in partnership with Rysdale Forest and Signal Film and Media, and the artists who we'll introduce you to in a minute, and all, there's lots of participants here as well. So this room was um, mainly done with um, adult community members, and the bar room was mainly kids doing, doing the work. Um, so, yeah, so I just wanted to say thanks so much to everyone for coming to see the work today. Thanks for taking part in the project. Bye yes. bye. Well, I'm Liz from Signal Film and Media. We're based at Cook Studio in Barrow in Furness. As part of this project, we decided that as well as going to the forest, it would also be great to take the forest into Barrow. So alongside other local organisations, we set up our very own Grisdale animation set for three days during August 2022. The animations included plasticine animals made by local children and really got them thinking about Grisdale and some of the interactions between people and nature. We understand the value of nature, but we also understand that we, as an organisation, Forestry England, manage and care for the largest areas of land and trees in England. And there's a lot of science behind which trees we plant, how we manage our forests so they're resilient and sustainable. Um, and we don't really tell our story. And we believe that bringing together artists, foresters, and rangers that there's, a, there's a, a lovely connection, deeper connection that will help make memories to, to help shape the future really. Super Collider and Michaela French um, as two sets of artists commission bring a different way of looking at the forest and it was important for us that we, we worked with people that were curious about people as well as nature and that um, that it was very much a collaborative process of, of, of making the artwork. Today I'm going to be running a listening workshop where we'll be doing lots of different activities, including a silent walk, a listening and drawing exercise, We'll be listening to the trees using contact microphones and we'll also be responding to the experience of the resident, Super Collider Residency through a written element as well. So it's called Curating Climate. And it's basically about how um, the things that we do impact the, the environment. Showing people, here, this is what we enjoy. This is the nature that we love. And look at how we're affecting it. Um, do we want to preserve it or continue damaging yeah. it? We took a few pictures on our mobile phones of the things that we enjoy in nature. We're just trying to and take the colors from the nature and see how it seems in the photo. So we came here with Signal Film to participate in a project and we've been walking in the forest and taking pictures, just kind of um, looking around, um, immersing ourselves in, in nature. As we walk we start to notice the little details and that's, that on its own is um, it's, it's a nice feeling, it's, it's a nice experience. Working in Grisdale Forest has been such an incredible opportunity to have the time and the space to really understand and experience the forest. The best thing for me is meeting everyone. I've had so much fun just getting to know people from all different parts of the world. Here I think we've got people from Ukraine, Ukraine, Syria, Syria Sudan, um, uh, me, Mauritius. Poland.
And we're here today in Grisdale Forest for the second um, set of workshops um, with um, an artist collective called Super Collider and about 12 community participants. And we're all out exploring the forest and taking photos. Today we are walking through the forest and taking photographs on our phones. And after we've taken the photographs, we're going to go back to the Yan and we're going to put their images on Polaroids and then we're going to make a big Polaroid installation for the Grisdale Visitor Centre Cafe and we're going to curate them as a group as well which will be really fun So, um, there's loads of great photos being taken and there's people of all ages here as well so it's been pretty pretty fun morning exploring the forest and taking photos So we've downloaded an app called Polaroid then got into the Polaroid app, which has another app inside it called Polaroid Lab. You go into Polaroid Lab, and that will then let you print out Polaroid straight from your smartphone, uh, which turned out really cool. To be fair. Amazing day, amazing food, amazing company. Yeah, all in all, unbelievable. Uh, Jack, can you tell us a little bit about your experience in the forest? Yeah. Well, in the forest it was really, it was fun to just walk around the forest, record sounds and I have a greater understanding of systems, like for example I learned about the trees that had fallen down in storms that were, that actually rot and become microhabitat for bugs and and am I right in thinking that was the theme for one of the other animations that you made? You are right, that is one of, that is the theme for one of my animations. Uh, there is a great thing of like when you work with people in the forest environment, it takes a little while and um, but slowly things actually do slow down and people do respond differently and there is this kind of calm that people discover and then I've, I've had a number of opportunities to, to visit and work in Grisdale Forest and I find it to be an extraordinary place. A lot of it is about, um, for me, well-being and kind of mental health and staying calm and centred. And I think to be able to share that with, with the young people on this project has been, um, it, you know, it gets under your skin and in the best possible way. Hello, my name is Mila and I am 11 years old. I think my favourite part of the project overall has probably been when we did sound recording. Even though something's out of your comfort zone, you know, don't be afraid to try it. We love working with artists. Grisdale's got a, a long history of working with artists. So since 1968, we've had art in the forests and we've always welcomed artists spending time in the forest and using the forest as that creative stimulus. The project today has, has been fantastic and we've loved working with Signal Film and Media uh, because they bring a new aspect to our practice and to have participants part of that creative process is very enriching.